It's a new Harvard Harris poll out now showing the state of the horse race and boy is it close. So Dreton, break it down. What are some of your takeaways? Well, it's very much in line with two other polls, uh, big national polls that have come out today, essentially showing Trump and Harris being in a dead heat tied uh, in the final stretch of the election for the last 60 days uh, or so. Our poll, uh, if you look at it uh, together with those who are still on the fence, Trump is at 47 percent. Harris is at 46 percent, so effectively a statistical tie and about 7% of voters are uh, undecided. And when you push the undecideds to make a choice, then it's 50-50. So a dead heat uh, that shows a highly, highly competitive election um, as we go into the final stretch. Highly, highly competitive might even be an understatement, Dritan. I mean, as this poll suggests, as all the other polls suggest, they are neck and neck, but break down the demographics here for us. Read the tea leaves. What are you seeing? Well, um, about 20% of voters still say that they are weighing uh, their choices uh, for the election, and 8 in 10 say that they have fully made up their mind. When we look at the breakdown uh, of the findings, uh, Trump has 50% support amongst those who have made up their mind. Uh, Harris has 49% support, and only about 1% is um, unsure at this stage. Amongst those who are still weighing the cho- their choices, very importantly, 36% are for Trump or with Trump, 35% are with Harris, and a full 30% are uh, uncertain at this stage. So really, this is an election that is going to come down to those voters in the middle who um, are still considering their options and want to learn more about the policies and where each of the candidates stand uh, on the issues. But otherwise, besides that, both of the candidates by and large are retaining their voters from uh, the last election. Harris is pulling 87% of Biden's vote voters from the last election, Trump about 9%, and five are uh, unsure. Um, When you look at Trump's number, he's pulling 90% of his voters from the last election. About 6% are going to Harris, and about 4% are unsure. Um, And when you look at uh, the third party vote from the last time, Trump is a little bit ahead, 34%, Harris 23%, and a full 43% um, are unsure. So uh, by and large, each of the candidates Uh, are preserving their respective uh, coalitions. Trump is doing better with men, five points ahead. Uh, Harris is doing slightly better with women, about two points ahead uh, with women. Trump is doing better with white voters, about 14 points ahead there. Harris is doing uh, uh, better with uh, black or African-American voters and also Hispanic voters. She's at 71% with black voters. He's at 22% and she's at 50% with Hispanics, and he's at 43%. So the breakouts are as you would expect, but um, it it shows that there's many ways to victory, but each of those ways are limited in how much that they can contribute to each of the candidates. So really, it's about those independent voters in the middle, those undecided voters, and how many of them across all these different demographics each of the candidates can capture via the debates that they'll be planning to have and then also in the final push before the election.